Hi students, now I am going to tell about some of our objects in our surroundings. Rounded pillars, bottles, not every bottles, some of the bottles like this, tube light, our Lego ho rotating chairs, tissue rolls, electric wire, candles, not every candles, some of the candles like this, blackboard chalks, PVC pipes, steel rods, Pepsi, Coca Cola, can type bottles, markers, writing markers, and all these objects you can see there is a geometrical mathematical shape behind that. What is that shape? Yes, cylinder. That is our today's topic, cylinder. Suppose if we are painting or building these shapes with uh, plastics or metal sheet or anything, we should know the area of the cylinder. In our class, we are going to find out the total surface area of the cylinder. So our topic is total surface area of the cylinder. Students, before learning the total surface area of the cylinder, we should know the circumference of a circle, area of a circle and area of a rectangle. Now, let us see how to find out the circumference of a circle. What is circumference of a circle? Circumference is the perimeter or boundary of circle or ellipse. Did you study about pi? In our lower classes, we studied about pi. What is pi? Pi is the ratio between circumference and diameter of a circle. What is diameter? Diameter is radius plus radius. 2 times radius. So what is pi? Pi is the circumference divided by 2 times radius. If you are cross multiplying, circumference is equal to pi into 2 times radius. That is circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. So what is the circumference of a circle? 2 pi r. So we studied circumference of a circle. Now let us see how to find out area of a circle. Before learning area of a circle, we should know what is area of rectangle. What is area of rectangle? Area of rectangle is length into breadth. Now we are going to find out area of a circle. See, we have a circle. This circle, we are going to make it as a rectangle. How can we make it as a rectangle? We are going to divide this circle into different different sectors by drawing the radii. We are dividing this circle into sectors like this and one sector we are keeping down, one sector we are keeping up, one sector we are keeping down, another we are keeping up. Like that we are arranging how the shape is coming. You can see that. Suppose this circle we are divided into more and more sectors like this. See. If you are increasing the number of sectors more and more and more, what is the shape coming? You can see a shape is coming. Now we are going to increase the number of sectors into infinitely many number of sectors. As much as much smaller as possible. If you are cutting this circle into infinitely many sectors like this you can see a rectangle. Am I right? What is the breadth of our rectangle? The breadth of the rectangle is radius of our circle. What is the length of the rectangle? The length of the rectangle is half of the perimeter. Half perimeter up, half perimeter down. So what is the perimeter? We already studied pi into diameter or 2 pi r. So, the length of this rectangle is half of 2 pi r, that is pi r. So, length is pi r, breadth is radius, r. Area of rectangle is length into breadth. So, area of our rectangle is pi r into r, pi r square. So, what is the 
area of a circle the area of a circle is pi r square children now we studied two formula circumference of a circle and area of a circle circumference of a circle is 2 pi r area of a circle is pi r square now we can come to our point we are going to find out the total surface area of the cylinder for learning the total surface area of the cylinder we know area is the surface only the outside so we are going to make our cylinder as net of the cylinder what is net net shows the area of the surface see our cylinder in our cylinder you can see up there is a circle down there is another circle and middle that is a rectangle so the total surface area of the cylinder is the area of the circle in the top and area of the circle down and the area in the middle if you are opening the cylinder we will get a rectangle in the middle that area of the rectangle what is area of the circle pi r square what is area of the circle pi r square middle we can see a rectangle the breadth of the rectangle is height of the cylinder the length of the rectangle is the circumference of the circle so what is the area of our rectangle now length into breadth length is circumference of the circle breadth is height of the cylinder so the area of that rectangle is circumference of the circle into height what is circumference of the circle 2 pi r 2 pi r into h so the middle is 2 pi r into h so what is the total surface area of the cylinder pi r square plus pi r square plus 2 pi r h so 2 pi r if you are taking outside the total surface area of the cylinder is 2 pi r into r plus h so what is the total surface area of the cylinder 2 pi r into r plus h now we studied the formula of the total surface area of the cylinder let us do one question based on this we have a cylinder the radius of the cylinder is 7 centimeter height of the cylinder is 10 centimeter let us find out the total surface area what is the radius of our circle radius r is equal to 7 centimeter what is height of the circle h is 10 centimeter okay what is the total surface area Tot total surface area is equal to 2 pi r into r plus h this is equal to 2 pi we are keeping as pi 2 pi into r what is r 7 into 7 plus 10 so this is equal to 2 into 7 14 pi into 17 so what is 14 into 17 238 pi if unit is centimeter unit of area is centimeter square i mean square unit if measurements in centimeter we will say centimeter square measurements in meter we will say meter square so our unit is centimeter so what is total surface area 238 pi centimeter square so in our class we studied the total surface area of the cylinder in our next class we will study another topic thank you